Hello everyone. Today I am discussing Thomas Green's The Progress of Poesy, which was published in 1754 and is a Pindaric Ode. Thomas Green's Grand Pindaric Ode, written between 1751 and 1754, is one of the few really successful essays in the difficult form. Gray uses lyric compression to make a concise summary of the heroic ambition of English literature in the middle 18th century. Uh, in the line awaked, uh, the central image of this poem beginning in the first stanza is that of poetry issuing forth among the continent to find echoes in the object of nature and the great poet of various ages. This is a strange Career for Aeolian Lyrae, which is supposed to respond to the wind. For example, the forces of nature and sensation. There is no indication in this poem that poetry does so, its power is expressive, its occasion mysterious. So basically, the progress of poesy associates the solitary poet with his mother muse, the female goddess, to whom he owes his capacity to perceive form illuminated by the muse ray, a light that is unborrowed of the sun. Sears embodies the generation power of nature. Helicon harmonious spring are associated with generation, like the laughing flower, drink life and fragrance as they flow. The lyre is the parent of sweet and solemn breathing air. These three elements dominate the opening of the poem. The first ternary close with Aphrodite the Cintheria's day, a figure of generative force mingling the union of water and music, like brick note in cadence beating, arm sublime that flowed upon the air. She is remergent Venus of Ode of the Spring, attended as was Venus in that poem by a train of celebrity. Thank you.